Hello, and welcome to Business Matters. I am Kimberly Roush, moderator and program assistant here with the OSU South Centers. We are here at OSU South Centers, our collaborative group. Um, we work with the University of Rio Grande and Rio Grande Community College to promote small business development, educational programs, and research proven best practices. In areas of business development, aquaculture, agriculture, horticulture, and soil and water. Um, our mission is to provide um, programming to enhance and grow our understanding in Southern Ohio and um, Southern Ohio communities and in the state of Ohio as well as across the United States and abroad. Currently, we have over 100,000 viewers that have listened to our um, broadcasts in more than 178 countries. Um, and today we have Melissa Carter, a business specialist here at OEC South Centers that works with the Business Development Network team. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, Melissa, and um, what you do here. Well, good morning, Kim. Um, like Kim said, I have, I've been working at the OSU South Centers for the past almost 11 years now. I started at, fresh out of Ohio State as a um, intern for a year, and then I became a program assistant and gradually moved forward with more responsibilities and more um, tasks and became a business development specialist several years ago. And so what that means is I work with businesses through um, not only starting off with they have an idea all the way through what I really like to do is work with businesses for website and direct online marketing for them. So working with businesses for website development, whether they have a website and want it revamped or doing social media marketing for businesses for helping them with Facebook, helping them with Twitter, Instagram, anything along those lines. But then I also do general business counseling as well and work with individuals that have an idea or businesses that have been in operations for 20, 30 years. Wonderful, wonderful. There's a huge need for that kind of assistance. Um, social media and websites are huge. You have to have those these days, really, for your business. Um, I think you also went back to school to get your master's, too, at OSU, which was a huge uh, success. Yes. I, well, I have a bachelor's degree from Ohio State in the College of Food, Ag, and Environmental Sciences. I got that in 2006. But then by working here, I decided that it would be beneficial in the long run to go ahead and get my master's degree. So in 2011, I started commuting two nights a week to the Fisher campus of Ohio State and got my MBA. For, it took me two years to get my MBA through Fisher. Um, so I don't really remember those two years <laughs> from working here full time and driving to Columbus two nights a week. But um, it has paid off and has been very beneficial to say that I have an MBA from Ohio State as well. Definitely. And some area too, um, marketing I, and communication? I have a little bit of a specialty in marketing and leadership. Right. Wonderful. That's wonderful. That helps our clients definitely um, with their success too, if you can provide that um, kind of input. Um, also, many of the counselors here at OSU have backgrounds of owning their own businesses or being involved in their own personal businesses. Do you have that kind of experience? Sort of. <laughs> um, I grew up on a family farm, and my dad and his brother still farm today. So I help on that farm as whenever I am needed, as well as my husband has his own small business, so I do manage um, doing a good bit of the paperwork in the evenings, but he has an excavation and construction business in Southern Ohio. So I am I kind of do a little bit of the paperwork and keep his website up to date occasionally. Well, he's got a good one to do that. <laughs> you know all the ins and outs. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a little break now, um, and we'll be back after this short message. Welcome back to Business Matters, and I am Kimberly Roush. We are here today with um, Melissa Carter, business specialist from the Ohio State University Small Business Development Center here at OC South Centers. Um, we are going to go ahead and share a video clip um, of a client that Melissa worked with recently, um, Bria Long. She's the operations director 
with the um, Longs Retreat Family Resort in um, Latham. I think, I think sometimes they jump around with the city out in there, but um, yeah, we'll go ahead and give you a preview of that. Hi, my name is Bria Long and I'm the Director of Operations here at Long's Retreat Family Resort. We are located in Southern Ohio. We are in the western end of Pike County. We provide uh, family fun for guests and visitors of all ages from all over the state um, and also out of state as well. And we've been here in business since 1971 when my dad first started. We offer anything you'd like for your summer fun. We have camping and cabins, so you can stay overnight if you choose. If you don't choose, you want to just visit us for the day. You can come enjoy our go-karts and swimming, water slides, canoes, paddle boats, putt-putt golf. We have a kitty area with a carousel, inflatable bounce houses, and kitty go-karts as well. Fishing, anything you'd like to do in the summer, we have it here. Um, weekend, we are quite usually quite full, quite busy. We do offer shelter houses as well, so a lot of our weekends we have guests that are enjoying a, an employee outing through their company or their business, a family day for them, or a class reunion, family reunion, 4-H gathering, uh, Girl Scout or church group gathering. So our weekends are definitely more busier than the week, uh, but anytime you want to come, we're open Memorial Day through Labor Day. Camping is open April through October. I met Melissa Carter at um, a meeting I was attending with Ohio's Appalachian Country. She was there representing the Small Business Development Center in Piketon. So she was a speaker at our meeting and she was speaking about social media and she mentioned that she also works with businesses to develop or redevelop websites. So I actually met her that day. We exchanged information. I emailed her I think the next week and we got started from there. She was able to um, communicate with me about what we wanted and what I wanted was a new website. I wanted to simplify it. I wanted to kind of mainstream it user friendly and we got started on that pretty much pretty much right away. We had many benefits from that. One was that it was at no cost to us and I'm not lying that was the best benefit I think I could um, have but the other benefit was Melissa was wonderful to work with. She came to me in our office. I did not have to travel to her. Uh, she worked you know many hours on it on her own um, time whether at home or at work um, but that benefit was just tremendous for us uh, we really again wanted a website that was more user-friendly very simple um, she went along with me in that process and basically incorporated everything that I wanted as well as teaching me what to do on my own so one of the problems with our other website was um, on the back end of it, I couldn't really change things. I would have to contact someone else. Well, now I can change whatever I want, whenever I want, whether it be something very small like the font or something you know more major like a picture or a total page design. You can find out more about Long's Retreat on all of our social media outlets, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. And of course, on our new website that we love at www.longsretreat.com has all of our information for all of our activities and rates, as well as directions and anything else you'd like to find out. one great example of some of the services that you've provided to local um, area businesses for sure. Long's is uh, one of those businesses that came in for free services. I think she mentioned in the video that she found you on a social media um, class. So I, uh, I was asked to be a speaker at a, an event for tourism related businesses in Southern Ohio and I I gave a speech and several different people came up to me after that and Bria was one of them. So I met with her over the course of probably three months it took us to, for her to tell me what her vision was and what her end goals were 
she had a great idea already for her website, but the main goal was to be able to take it and run with it after I helped her create the, the template. And that's the biggest thing with any of the businesses that I work with, is for them to be able to take their website and fix what they need to fix on their own. Because five or ten years ago, it was very daunting for individuals that didn't have very much computer experience to build a website. But nowadays, with um, very template-based programs, it's very easy to be able to maneuver the programs that you have, and you can edit things, whether it's the mobile version of the website or the desktop version, um, and do it yourself with very quick, less, you know, no, no knowledge of website development, um, which is very helpful for businesses because things change and you need something quick to change and post up there, and that way they're not trying to contact someone who's busy to get something changed on their end. Right. It, let's say someone's thinking about doing a new website. What are maybe five key things that they want to really consider or review on their current website? The biggest thing with a website is whether they have a, a, social, a website presence or not is really determining nowadays if it's mobile friendly. Because with Bria's website, we did some analytics with it and realized that over 80% of the people that are looking at that website are looking at it on the mobile phone. So we really turned around and not only made sure that the website looks good on the computer, but made sure that website looks good mobily because we're on our smartphones all the time. Websites have to be mobile friendly nowadays. Google says now that you can't even, they won't even search for your website if it's not mobile friendly. Ah. So that's very important for businesses, especially if they've had a website and they're like, it works great and we've had it for years. It might not be showing up on mobile searches anymore, and that's that's really hurting individuals and businesses nowadays. Right. When you need instantaneous stuff up there fast, you know, it's one of those quick things you can do yourself. Right. And having having a website is just it's a way to make sure that you're and I don't I don't want to say this the wrong way, but making sure you're a legitimate business. Sometimes people have a business, but they're un. You know, consumers are unsure if it's a real business or not, especially if it's an online, you know, they've got a Facebook page or they've got an Etsy page. But if they have a website that all ties in together and shows, okay, this is the same business and this is why we want to work with them. Right. I hadn't even thought of that. That's why you work with, you're the pro. <laughs> That's why you work with these groups. Wonderful. What other kind of services do you provide? I know um, you mentioned some startup kind of stuff and all that, but your focus is mostly website and social media? I help any business, no matter, it doesn't matter if they, you know, have an idea or um, have been in business for several years. What are, the great thing about our team here at the OSU South Centers is, is we all have various specialties and we all cover um, a kind of a, a region county-wide, and then once we get into those needs of the client, then we pass them off to whatever the needs are. I will admit that I am not the finance person of the team, so when someone comes in and they say, I've got a lot of finance questions, I need um, help, you know, work with a loan package, I will probably pass them on to Ryan or Chris, Ryan Mates or Chris Smalley on our team because they both have experience in banking. But I'm the one that a lot of the counselors come to when they're, they meet with someone and they're like, oh, yes, we need a website, or oh, yes, we need um, to have some social media presence. That's when I usually come in for businesses and help them determine what's working right now or what they need to do. And a lot of clients come in and they say, I want the whole gamut of social media. They want a Facebook page. They want Twitter. They want Instagram. They want YouTube. They want it all, and I usually tell clients um, to take a step back, determine who your clients are or who your customers are, and then pick one and do it well. Do that well, and then branch off into other social media. Because if you're not do if you're if you have all of them but you're not posting on them regularly or um, very well then it defeats the purpose to having multiple social media accounts if you're not posting on any of them. Very, very true. Do you have any other clients you work with? What um, industries have you worked with? I work with a lot of different industries. Um, right now we are 
in the midst of the Southern Ohio Agriculture and Community Development Foundation, SOACDF. They have a grant program out right now, and it runs from August 1st to August 31st. So I'm meeting with a lot of agribusinesses, which is in my little house because that's how I was raised. Um, but it's great to work with those farmers that are looking for a grant, whether to buy a tractor, to build a grain bin, build a barn, buy some livestock. And those programs are specifically in the summertime. It's only a month-long process. But those businesses have to write a business plan. And so that's where we come in and help them write their plan. We don't do it for them, of course, but we help them make sure that they've got all the necessary components for their application so that when they turn it in at the next week, um, they have a good chance of hopefully getting funded, of working with them. And I've been helping with that program for eight years now, and it's a, it's a phenomenal program for Southern Ohio businesses because it's a great reimbursement grant program that while grants are typically very rare and most individuals, most businesses don't, don't um, qualify for them, this program is geared specifically to farmers and agribusinesses in Southern Ohio, and it's nice to be able to say, yeah, there, are, there is money out there available for you to get a new tractor or some livestock. Which can mean the world to someone. It really can mean everything. Right. I mean, we work with people that, you know, maybe all they need is a four-wheel drive tractor, and with the winters haven't been freezing the last few years, they, they really need a four-wheel drive tractor to be able to feed their cattle in the wintertime. Right. Wonderful. That's a wonderful service to provide. Um, you also work with um, developing training opportunities for different organizations. If someone wanted to call you about a training or a training opportunity that you could develop for them, what kind of um, options would they have if they called? We, um, what I, I help businesses or organizations when they need a speaker for social media or website development, um, whether it's very, very basic, sometimes I, I get a call to, you know, there people that just know how to turn their computer on and want a Facebook page. Then all the way up to, we're going to try to develop a in-depth website program this fall where you would come in and spend all day long and you would leave Maybe not with a completed website, because it does take a little bit of time to have a completed website, but you would have the fundamentals to take it and start building your website on your own um, down the road, and then we could come follow up with assistance later on. So that's, hopefully this later this fall, we'll have that training program set up. Very nice. So, um, is there a minimum? Do you go to them, or they're going to have to come to us or a different location? Or? For the website development course, we will probably do one training here because we have the computer lab at, over in the Endeavor Center. Um, however, it would be nice. We have a mobile lab here, so what that means is we've got 10 laptops that can be um, taken out wherever. So hopefully we'll be able to do that in some other counties as well and hold that training event because a lot of people – are starting to realize that they can have their own website for not a whole lot of money. Um, the, a couple of the programs I use, it costs about, you know, anywhere from 12 to $18 to have a domain name for the year. And then the website program that I typically use, the programs cost anywhere from $5 on up, but um, typically about 10 to $12 a month to have a website. So that's a, that's a very low investment to have a, a quality website um, that they can manage and function on their own. Very nice. Wonderful. Is there anything else that I've missed along the way? Um, some of the – or your location, where, where your uh, region is? I typically meet with um, – and I'm a little bit unique because I do with, work with the marketing aspect of all of our region – but I typically meet with um, clients when they're startup or just, you know, first call in. I meet with people in Fayette County and Adams County, which on the map it doesn't at all make sense. But um, Adams County is close here to Piketon, and then I live in northern Ross County, so Fayette County is, is very close to me as well. And we just added Fayette County to our service territory. Um, 
So either one of those counties, I meet with them in the Chamber of Commerce office or the Economic Development office in those counties. Um, and we get a lot of referrals from those individuals in the counties as well. But then any of the marketing um, aspect, when I get referrals from other counselors or other chamber members, I meet with them depending on, you know, what their business is, whether I meet with them in their location or at um, the chamber office or economic development office in their county. So they don't have to travel too awful far. And it's usually one of those things where you need to have internet access and to work with okay. online things. So sometimes I do meet with people at McDonald's because they do have pretty reliable web, Wi-Fi at McDonald's. So oh, I've nice. been known to set up shop there sometimes as well. Very nice. Good where the people are, right? That's <laughs> right. Wonderful. Um, you mentioned earlier that we have um, kind of a unique situation here where you can walk across the hallway and get some other um, expertise if you have clients that are in need of that. Can you describe a little bit what might, what else might be offered here? At the South Center on our OSU Development Business Team Development Network, Business Development Network, what we do is offer any type of services for businesses, whether it's for financing, marketing, leadership, um, strategic planning. We do human resources, exporting. We have a director on staff here that is very specialized in doing export assistance for businesses, which is something that a lot of people don't really um, realize that they can export their product. Being um, in southern Ohio, they don't think about exporting, but sending something to Canada or Mexico is exporting. Right. And we also have manufacturing and co-op development ex expertise here at the South Centers. So any need that a business has, we either have the expertise here on our team or we can find it for a business. Right, right. That is a wonderful um, thought, too. And we also have a business development incubator right here on location, so that's kind of an expertise that is unique um, in the area. We have research facilities here where um, we take best practices and put them into a business model, which is really interesting. It kind of crosses that line um, of practical use uh, from research, academic research. So that's always a great opportunity for, for here at the South Centers. Um, Another thing, if you want to contact any of the people here at OSU South Centers, you can take a look at our website at southcenters.osu.edu and um, take a look at uh, some of the opportunities there, some of the research, some of the information. There is a toolbox that you can kind of preview in the business area. Um, there are many opportunities. Just come visit us. There are even tours if you're not sure exactly um, how we might help you um, in your business. Just uh, give us a call and come for a tour. I know they have several tours um, pre-scheduled for Fridays, I believe, some of them. Um, so, And there's also the um, directory that you can take a look at. And under the Business Development Net Network tab, you can find a spot to um, open up a form to ask for assistance, for business assistance. And uh, your name and email address will go to the Director of Small Business Development Center, and he'll distribute those names to the appropriate expert. So, um, and anything else you want to mention here today? I don't think so. Oh, wonderful. We're so glad you stopped in and, and told us all about the services you provide. I know I get to interview some of the people that you work with for success stories, and we always love working with you. They talk about how devoted you are, and you will get back with them right away about stuff. And so they were, they're really um, happy with that. So on that note, we will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks.